Yeah, good day everybody. Uh, this is The Journey Begins about my Harley Davidson. I uh, originally came from Mount Isa, dry, dusty town, with um, the local rodeo, bull riding, dust bowl, hot, sticky weather, lots of flies. The time was when the uh, Sydney Opera House was being built, late 60s, early 70s, and um, up where I was living in Mount Isa in central Queensland, we had the TAA airline um, and also the ANSET airline. Unfortunately, none of them exist anymore. There was different times back then. No mobile phones, no internet, dry, dusty roads. Land was huge, flat, dry. Takes a long way, long time to get anywhere. Uh, small motorbikes. Um, my father and my mum. It was the time of uh, Holden was brand new, <laughs> drinking beer and in the outback, seeing the Northern Territory, mini skirts, bell bottoms, uh, 60s rock music, 70s rock music, and you, it was forever to go anywhere, hours and hours worth of driving. Um, but beautiful country up in Queensland, Northern Territory. Um, it's the old Holden HR station wagon that they had, and there's me. So I came into the world in 1973, and um, yeah, different times. I, I, I think back and I go, yep, Queensland's absolutely fantastic. And there's my first ride on a motorbike. Don't know what that is, so if somebody knows, please put a comment. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, the channel. I used to go camping a lot, another Holden there. Another push bike, and I, I didn't grow up with um, motorbikes, mostly just push bikes. Um, that's what we could afford. And this here is in Cambodia on a motorbike over in Cambodia. And then after that, I was traveling in China, and there are a couple of bikes there that I rode around the well, this is in the real country of China, not very many Westerners go there. I was the only white person to ever been to one of these villages riding a, a motorbike in the dirt roads in the back blocks of this area. It's an amazing place. Really, really was amazing. Lots of amazing people. So this is before I got a Harley. Um, I was still enjoying motorbike riding and traveling and seeing the world and um, yeah, hadn't, hadn't really got a Harley, but here she is. This is the first one I found. Um, it was a 1200 Sportster going for about eight grand or so, so it's pretty cheap, and I started modifying it straight away, customizing it. Had a nice cam in it, uh, you'll hear it in a minute. Sounded quite nice, uh, but I was still, still too big for it. Um, it was quite a, a small bike, but it was what I could afford at the time. And um, pretty bike, beautiful to ride. There she is. And um, customized to put on some bigger handlebars, obviously, because I was you know, I'm six foot four, so it was a, it was a great little bike. Toured around. That's Millthorpe in New South Wales. Uh, touring around the, the country here in central New South Wales. That's out of Forest Reefs. So visiting one of the local pubs, and um, yeah, but I I wasn't sure what to do at this point. I, I thought about um, God Squad. So God Squad, I'd actually met John Smith. Um, up in Queensland many 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 years ago back in the 80s and 90s and um, I made a phone call and a Peter Hilton uh, Canberra put me on to this guy called Baz and This red fender bass. I actually gave him. I'm actually a musician and a teacher and he always wanted a red fender bass so I gave him this bass and um, He's playing it there after he got it. He, he was so in love with it he uh, sent me this video of him playing it. So great bloke, top, good, good, good friend. And we started off. He he was the one that got me into uh, God Squad. And this is where we first met. Met the guys here in Orange, and we were heading over to Bathurst. So I rode the uh, Sportster over to Bathurst, and we went to the bike show. Um, the other God Squad guys were there from Newcastle. Um, lots of other different bike clubs there. Uh, this was back in 2022. Beautiful bikes, absolutely gorgeous. Um, 
works of art and worth a, an absolute mint. So here's some of the guys. Uh, we just had lunch, uh, which actually took forever to come because I forgot our order. <laughs> but I uh, met the guys here from Sydney, Newcastle and, and other places around New South Wales. And we're all catching up over, over a lunch. We went for a ride around Mount Panorama in Bathurst. That was a good ride. And here we are just all getting our photos taken. Um, didn't rain. Uh, it was overcast. Bit, bit chilly, but nothing, nothing too major. It was a good day. It was a really good day out. Um, then after that, there was the state run, which was at Mount Victoria in the Blue Mountains near Sydney. And we went there. Um, at this point, I'd actually sold my Sportster and I actually considered quitting being involved with God Squad and whatever. And Baz had actually said to me, he said, mate, you know, just come, come to the state run. And I drove my Commodore and they wanted me to do the music with Baz to, to lead the worship. So uh, Baz was playing his red bass and I was playing the guitar and a couple of guys there got their um, patches and everything. And this is the uh, Midwest chapter here with the guys. And um, yeah, there's lots of praying, good, good, good prayer, good fellowship. Uh, it was actually good memories of this this particular place and, and this, even though I'd, I'd actually I'd seen some things that happened at the Bathurst um, bike show with a couple of the God Squad members, and I was going to get out. I, I really wasn't keen on getting involved in God Squad, but Baz sort of got me involved, and he said, "No, no, don't quit. Just hang around and." see what you think and so we did the worship and the music which was fantastic and over the, over the weekend um, after meeting all these great guys and they are great guys really nice blokes um, beautiful bikes um, Peter Hilton's battery actually <laughs> if anybody remembers that's watching this Peter Hilton's battery went flat and thankfully because I brought all my gear in my car I had a battery charger and he charged up his motorbike um, his battery that night so he could actually get home his, yeah his battery was real bad um, so yeah that we had, took group photos and everything for the weekend so it's a state run New South Wales state run 2022 uh, met Craig this is Craig on your mate and um, met some other people as well um, good times yeah it was really a, a lovely weekend of, of uh, oh there's Renee Renee's a nice bloke Really, he, he's the um, president, and uh, everybody's sort of saying goodbye here at this point. The weekend's pretty well over. Um, just getting some photos in, saying goodbye. And at this stage, I really wasn't sure what to do, except I was just going to hang around with these guys. I was going to look for another bike, so at this stage, I still don't have a bike. So I'm packed up my gear into my car, and the guys from Midwest Chapter, they're getting ready to go. Baz had actually borrowed a bike, that's him there. He, he borrowed a bike off, off a guy in orange and um, he didn't have his, his own bike at that point. The Silver Surfer was in pieces, uh, which you'll see in the next video. So um, yeah, everybody's sort of getting ready to go and I packed up the car. Um, I actually, this might've been the ride. Yeah, they did a ride first and then we, we left pretty well after that. Beautiful bikes, um, lovely. There's Peter on his on his Harley there. Um, yeah, Mount Victoria is a lovely place. Uh, even from Orange, where I'm living now, I sometimes ride up to the Blue Mountains and go to Lura. There's the guys from the chapter, and they're just they're just going. So the next bike, what did I get? Well, there's me, Sambo, and uh, Fish, and there's the bike. I bought that off Sambo. So that's the next video. So look, I hope you like it, and uh, stay tuned for what happens with that uh, new bike that I purchased. Well, it's a new old bike, but you'll hear all about it in the next video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.